Hey guys, um, and welcome back. Um, today we are going to be starting a new series of Java tutorials, and we're temporarily ceasing um, GUIs and moving on to graphics. And graphics are basically um, like you can paint stuff onto the screen using a class called Paint and Graphics. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very powerful um, tool and you can do a lot of things like this is where all your game development stuff is going to stem from like your animation, your sprites, your movements, your um, images, your shapes, your backgrounds, collision detection, etc, etc, etc and yeah so we're just going to start small though obviously um, so make a class and call it painting and it is going to extend this J panel, not J frame. And that just allows us to um, use J panel attributes. Because we don't, the other one will have a frame. This one's, because we're going to have two classes. So, and imports. Alright. So, here's what we need to do we need to create a constructor at first. And inside this constructor, we need to, um, first of all, this, um, uh, program is going to be extremely simple. It's going to have really nothing in it inside the paint method. So, I'm just going to show you how you would set up the paint method. Anyways, um, so, um, do, this is going to set the background of our panel. So, it actually looks a little different. So, set background, and then color, oh, I'll do red I suppose. Alright, now go out of the constructor, we're already done with it, and then go we're now we're going to call it the paint method, and this is always the same, um, it's what you use to paint inside of your panel with, so do public void paint compon component and then um, parameter, just put graphics and then traditionally people just put G in there, it makes it easier and then do um, super dot paint um, component like that and put G alright and that's all you actually do and then I'm gonna add a little comment here your code for painting would go here so all of your code would go here so like G dot maybe you wanna like um whoops maybe you wanna draw a 3D rectangle, or you want to draw an image, or draw a line, or oval, or whatever. But I'm not going to teach you how to do any of that, but I'm just saying, if you want to experiment, that's where your code is going to go. But we're not going to do any of that in this tutorial. Next one we will, though. So, alright. So that's all it is for the painting class. Pretty sh short and simple. So now I'll go to your frame class, and this is going to um, set the layout, um, display the painting panel, and all that stuff. So, this is a little more... Um, it's not as new, it's a little more familiar. Alright. We need a couple imports. Oop. Alright. And it's not actually going to extend this J panel because I mean frame, excuse me. It's not going to extend it because we don't need to extend it. Because um we need to use a different style of making a frame in this tutorial. It's a little different, but we have to do it for the painting. Just because we have to... Yeah. For the paint class, so... This is the easiest way I found out how to do it, but I'm sure there's other ways. Maybe there's a better way, but I don't know it yet, so... Whatever. Um, do our main method first this time. Alright, and then do... Um, new, and then whatever our thing is gonna be called, it's gonna be called frame. That's it. Now we need to make a frame. So public frame. All right. So now we gotta do all of our stuff we normally put in our main method right here. But how we normally do our creator frame would be like you know frame or frame, GUI, blah 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 blah. But now we have to do this. J frame and then GUI and that's gonna be a new J frame. 
That way we don't need to extend JFrame and we can just create one just like that. And then GUI set title paint program size uh, actually 400 400 um, default close operation but don't set it visible yet we have to do set it visible after we render the panel inside of our frame so now we need to call up that panel that we made over here and that's um, painting so painting panel that's gonna be a new painting and then make a pane so whoop, um, it's gonna be GUI get content pane and then set the layout and we only have one thing to put in so just do um just do a grid layout of one one I suppose you probably don't need to do this but whatever makes it uh, better and then pane at our panel and that is our panel that has a background color of red from our painting class. And finally, we need to set it visible. So, true. It's like that. Save it, run it, and here it is. Kind of big, I'll resize it. Alright. So, as you can see, all it is is a blank, blank um, thing. Um, all it is is a red background color, and there's nothing inside of the panel because we didn't paint anything. Remember your code to go right below this line, like yeah, I already showed you that, but that's all it is. So, thanks for watching and next tutorial we're gonna actually get into the painting aspect of the painting class, so hope to see you there.